hi all. Welcome to EAI ESP Mule 4, 4 minute videos, in this series we will demonstrate how to use Design Center in building Mule application flows. Design Center is Mule latest addition to its portfolio. I am very much excited to show you FTP files to FTP application development in the Mule 4.0 Design Center. In this tutorial you will learn about how to register and get hands on to Design Center. Let's open your browser and open anypoint.mulesoft.com. Log in with your credentials. After successful authentication you will be presented with the Anypoint home page. This page contains links to Exchange, Design Center, Runtime Manager, API Manager and Partner Manager, Access Management, Data Gateway and MQ. Let's start developing our many-to-many -many FTP transfers application using Design Center. Click on Design Center, which opens Projects page. Observe no projects are present as we have just created the account. Click on Create button. You can create Mule application or API specification or API fragment. We will choose Mule application. Provide project name and choose target environment. By default design is selected. Observe in left, you will find flows, connectors and modules and data types. New flow is created and by default you will see trigger component. For the first time Mule automatically displays few tips. In every Mule application, flow is initiated or triggered with trigger connector component. Trigger can be HTTP, scheduler or Salesforce connector. Let us choose HTTP connector as trigger, which displays the property page. Provide pop and click on edit if you want to change HTTP configuration. Application is safe automatically. Click on plus symbol button to add more component. Now we will add FTP connector. It display FTP list of components. Unlike in previous versions 3.x, FTP have multiple connectors for each operation like copy, delete, list, read and write which we can use for both FTP and SFTP. Here we will choose list operation to list all the files from FTP location. Next page displays FTP configuration. Let us set up FTP configuration, by clicking on setup link. Provide name for your configuration. Unlike in previous versions 3.x, we don't have two connectors for FTP and SFTP. Here single connector is used for both FTP and SFTP. As per the requirement we should change connection type to FTP SFTP. Choose FTP and provide FTP server, port, user, password and working directory. Click on test button to check the connectivity. You will see success message. Provide directory path details to list. We are done with configuring FTP list component. Click on plus symbol button to add more component. Now we will add for each connector. In select component search for for each component which sends the files iteratively. Let us add FTP write connector. Perform the same steps as earlier, but this time we will take write operation as we need to write files to FTP location. If you want send response back to calling program, in earlier version we used to call set payload component. In this version, HTTP listener has response option where we can set the response slash return value after successful transforming the file to the destination. Set the message in response body. That's all we are done with coding. Now let us deploy the application onto Cloud Hub. Click on deploy. After successful deployment, you will see latest changes deployed. Copy the URL, before testing the application in Postman, make sure you will connect to FTP server and check files are available in source folder. Test the application providing URL in Postman. You will see response message in Postman. Let's move to FTP location and verify the files. You will find the files in target folder. Now see the flow, observe green line, as this flow has been invoked and executed successfully it has marked with green color, if any failure it will mark with red color. Now let's see runtime manager, click on top of let most page and choose runtime manager. Click on runtime manager, it displays FTP files to FTP application and its status is started. Click on the FTP to FTP application, see CPU and memory utilization, 24 hours to last hour. 
That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at Mule Design Center at eaiesp.com.